All right, guys, so you probably saw the original um, Kingdom Builders Dream Trips app presentation training. This is going to be alternative ending, so I'm going to ask Ben the same closing question, and uh, he's going to hit me with multiple different objections that probably you guys hear all the time, and I'm going to show you how I would handle those objections so you know how to handle them best, okay? So anyways... Okay, Ben, well, um, so you saw everything and you saw the, the whole thing. Obviously, I told you I wanted you to partner up with me and you're right, kind of right. telling me about all that stuff. So yeah. um, we can actually get you signed up right here through the app. So um, have you? do you have enough information to make a $444 decision today? I like this a lot. Like This is blowing my mind right now. But uh, I still have a couple questions. Okay. What are, what are the questions? Well, uh, okay, so the difference between the Robia Bucks and the Dream Trust points. So... Roby bucks can be used on the travel only. Mm -hmm. uh, they can't be used to buy all the merchandise and the other stuff. Right. right? That's what you said. Right. Okay. 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 But you're gonna the dream trips points are gonna accumulate much faster anyways than the Roby bucks because remember, Roby bucks is only one to thirty percent. Yeah. And dream trips points is fifteen to fifty percent. Okay. Okay. So. So you earn. So I can earn the dream trips points by eating and dining out and all that sort of stuff, mm -hmm. and then I can turn around and spend it on other merchandise and stuff. Yes. Robia Bucks, I'm just going to earn it by doing the actual shopping like while I'm in the store and everything? Not while you're in the store. Um, online shopping. Oh, right, right. But, right, you know, you could always buy like a gift card to earn yeah. the points, and then you could always take that in store okay. and uh, do it that way. So, okay. Yeah. All right. So so here, here's another thing I would say, Ben. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, yeah. where, where do you find yourself? Like with ten being the highest, yeah, ten being like I'm gonna get started. I already know that's not where you're at, but and one being like I don't like it at all. I'm like a solid eight point seven. Eight point seven. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you just have a few other questions to get you from that eight point yeah, seven yeah, to ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess like, like all this stuff was was incredible, you know. And I I came for the card and I got like a lot more than I was you know expecting. Right. Um. So the card, I guess I'm still just a little fuzzy on how the card is going to really tie into your. Uh, uh, ecosystem here like am I gonna like swipe it and like that's gonna be my new way of earning points like whenever I go places or like you may, yeah, you may so, have said that so the card story, right? yeah 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 so you're gonna be able to earn the points with the application alone okay but in the future whenever the card comes out yeah if you're in the restaurant or in getting your hair cut it's gonna know that you're there so when you swipe your card it'll automatically track your points for you versus with the app you still have to scan your receipt Okay. And there's going to be two ways through the app. You either scan your receipt and pay through the app or scan your receipt and scan a QR code to get... So some merchants are on the old system, some are on the new system, the mm -hmm. pay and app system. Mm -hmm. They they should all be converted by mid-January. Yeah. But yeah. And then in the future though, you walk into that same establishment, swipe your fly card once the final version of the fly card comes out, mm -hmm. boom, the points are earned automatically. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. So just as soon as I swipe it, like points are yep. uploaded in my phone. Yep. Okay. And you'll get a little notification on your phone. So. Uh oh. Okay. Cool. 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 Um. So is that really it, or ready to get started, or is that is do you have other stuff as well? Uh. No. No. I. I, I can. Yeah. I got. I can. I can spend four hundred forty-four. Like. Cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. Let's lock arms. Let's do this thing. All right. Cool. All right. Cut. Here's the next one. This time, um, Ben. Why don't we do objection of got to talk to your spouse. Okay. Because, you know, that's a pretty common one. So. Yeah. <laughs> all right, man. Well, hey, Ben. I know we kind of showed you everything here, the dream trips and all that good stuff. Um, the question is, did I show you enough information to make a $444 decision? I mean, yeah, dude. I, I want to do it. Like, this has been awesome. Uh, I I am going to need to talk to my, my wife about it. And, okay. And kind of let her, you know, see it because, you know, we make all of our decisions together. Okay. Know? I mean, you got a wife. You know how that is. Yes, so, yes, yes. So I uh, I'm going to show her this real quick. But, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure she'll be uh, she'll be excited about it. So Okay. Yeah. So let me ask you a question because I know you said you make all of your decisions together with her. Yeah. And yeah. this is not me, like, poking or prodding you, but just being real with you, man okay. to man, right? Yeah. When... You know, you probably have a favorite hobby. What, what's your favorite hobby? Uh, my favorite hobby is I, I love uh, cars. Like cars are my thing. Like working on cars. Working on know, cars and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So you have any like really expensive cars? I got one project that I'm working on right now. Yeah, it's 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 kind of costing me a little bit of money, a little bit more than I thought. But you know, it's yeah. Okay. It's so every time your project car needs a new part or something, I'm assuming some of those end up being 
Yeah. Maybe more expensive than what I'm asking you to do here today. Uh, but do you ask your do you yeah. ask your wife every time you buy a new part for that car? Uh, not every time. <laughs> not every time, right? <laughs> no. And then vice versa. Uh huh. What's your wife's favorite hobby? Oh man, uh, she she loves to just. I mean, it's not really a hobby, but she just she gets this crazy high off of like shopping. I think it starts with the window shopping, and then it uh-huh. turns into real shopping later. Yeah. So the question is, has she ever bought like a purse or something like that without asking you before? Uh, there have been a couple purses where I'm like, I don't remember right that one there before. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so so. Here's the deal. Oh, and shoes. She loves shoes. Oh. There have been a couple times where it's been shoes. Well, you know how that is. You know, yeah. one one single shoe sometimes $100, right? So yeah. Two pairs of shoes, you're at 400 already, right? Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> I know we don't have... But anyway, so so, my, so here's the deal, right? Again, I'm not poking or prodding. Yeah. But I am saying this. If you went home and told your wife you made a $444 decision today, uh-huh. and with that decision, you got the guaranteed lowest price on travel for the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. You got a way for you guys to go create memories with your family mm-hmm. more often. Mm-hmm. You got a way that she could sh- keep shopping. You could keep buying auto parts. And that off that shopping and auto part purchases, you could actually earn money back through our ecosystem. Oh, y'all got auto stores on here too? Yeah. We have like AutoZone oh, on there. Wow. So, I mean, I don't know if that's where you shop from, but I know like I could places probably, like yeah. Nordstrom and Dillard's and Macy's yeah, where your yeah, wife yeah. buys stuff through is on here. Okay. So you're going to do all those things anyways, and if you could earn back the digital currency I've been talking to you about to spend towards vacations or to spend within our ecosystem, yeah. if you went home and told your wife all that, and you told her there's really no risk because every dollar you spend, you're going to get back in the form of that currency to spend within our ecosystem, mm-hmm. do you think she'd give you a hard time about it? Probably not. Wait, so you're saying like I can use, so the Dream Trips points, I can use those at Nordstrom and Macy's and Dillard's? Well, no, I'm not saying you can use them there, but what I'm saying is she's going to go buy the shoes anyways, right. and you're going to go buy the auto parts anyways. Right, right, right. So since you're going to buy those stuff anyways, why not have? Why not go on free vacations with the stuff you're going to buy anyways? Yeah, that makes sense. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> yeah. So, and then also another question is this, you know, um, if if that is the case and there's really no risk for doing this and... Your wife starts telling her friends about she's earning free vacation from stop shopping, mm. and you're telling your friends that you're earning free vacations from building your car. Yeah. You know, whenever you have a hobby, you have other people that like those hobbies too. Yeah, there's a whole community of us on Facebook. And then yeah. how quickly do you think that you could tell four of your friends about that, and they come on board, and you waive your monthly fees for life? Uh, and you make yeah. that $500 back that I was showing you about earlier. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying, yeah. So I'm not trying, like, again, not trying to poke or prod you. Right. Here's another, like, kind of last final thing I'll tell you. Mm. If you came on board today, Mm. remember, we have no contracts, nothing like that. Right. So if, God forbid, for some reason your wife didn't see the vision like we did, Mm. you have seven days to cancel with no penalties. So if you want to come on board today and at least lock your spot, let's let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. And then if, God, you know, for some reason, I mean, I'll go with you to show your wife the app. That you know might I mean? be a little helpful. I'll go yeah. with you to show your wife the app. Let's get you started. Yeah. I'll go with you to show your wife the app. Okay. Now we can already let her know you made the decision. And then if for some reason yeah. she wants to pull out, I'll show you guys how to, to cancel. No, you know. I mean, we're just going to tell her that we get points when we eat out and you can buy stuff. Right. I'm going to show her exactly what I just showed you. Go buy yourself that handbag. With the points, right. Go know? buy another handbag, honey. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. So what do you think? You ready to get started? Sure. Yeah. Awesome, dude. All right. Cut. Um, This time, let's see. Why don't we do... The don't have the money readily available. Don't have the money, re- you know. You yeah. really want to do this, but the yeah. the God's honest truth is that you just don't have yeah. the money yeah. yet. Okay. Okay. All right, Ben. Well, I just showed you everything, the dream trips, all that good stuff, right? Um. So you good ready stuff. to get started? Have, have, have I have I showed you enough for you to make a four hundred forty four dollar decision? Dude, I I want to do this. Like, God honest truth, this is a but I I literally don't have. Four hundred forty-four. I don't 444. have four hundred forty-four dollars in my bank account right now. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just my my truck out there. See that dent in it? Yeah. I just, yeah. I just got that last night. That was okay. put in there uh, by an accident, and I just yeah taking the wife out on a date tonight. So and just some other some other expenses. Money's a little tight right now. I just don't have four hundred forty-four in my bank account right now. Okay. Um. Well, let's see. Um, now you can also use credit cards. 
Okay. You, know, you can use a credit card to get started because okay. then I can help you. We can we can go out and refer those four people, earn all that money back before your credit card statement even comes in. Don't have a credit card. Don't, don't do credit I, cards. I, I okay. try to stay away from those. Right, Just you a got in trouble with that thing. Yeah. yeah, I hear you. Um, also, um, you could you know sometimes people forget about money and savings accounts and stuff like that. I don't know if you're thinking about that. Sometimes we only are thinking about like checking accounts. Okay. Yeah, I do. I do have a savings account. Okay. So, yeah. And I know you know you you the 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 whole point of saving is to save. Rainy so you're not typically stuff. thinking yeah. about spending that, but if right. you could spend, if you could invest a little bit of that money and I can show you how to make it all back within the next month, plus you put more in there than you took out, that'd probably be that, a pretty good that use. Would be good. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's something to think about. Okay. Um, so do you, do you think that's an option? Um, yeah. Well, actually, no, no, probably not. Like, uh. That just wouldn't be a good idea for me to take that out right yeah, now. Yeah, the wife might get notified. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, how about this then, dude? Remember how I told you that the business side, it's only $20 or $25 one time, 20 a month, so you pay the 45 bucks. Right, yeah. Why don't we just sign you up for the business to lock your spot in my business? Because I'm actually going to be sharing this with other people like today and tomorrow. Mm. And if you come on board first, mm. anybody else I bring in on after you benefits you financially as well. Okay. Like they go under you on your team. Okay. So why don't we like 45 bucks or pause. If they're 26 and older, the conversation sounds like this. So you remember I showed you that it's $100 one time and then the $19 per month? Yeah. You pay $119 today. Okay. So why don't we just get you your spot locked in? Okay. So anybody else I show this over the next, because when do you get paid next? It's next week. Okay. So if you, we did the $119 today uh -huh. and then you could do the other $399 um, a week from now. Yeah. Would that, that be feasible? That, that would be a lot better, yeah. That and the be reason better. why is this. Yeah. If we can get you started today, uh -huh. we I can get you the Dream Trips app. Yeah. And that way you have something to go home and show your wife. Yeah. And then maybe you and her can talk it over together. And you can also come out to one of our meetings and yeah. you can show her what it is all about. Like let her see it before we actually yeah. like officially get the membership. Yeah, because okay. if you're on board, you, it'll be like a watered down her. version of yeah. the app. Yeah. But it's still going to show our social media kind of show... Yeah. And you could explain and show her this video. That would be um, really good. Yeah. And then maybe maybe together talking, she you and her can make the decision if you want to pull that money out of savings and do it earlier or just wait for your next paycheck. Yeah, because if she sees it, I mean she might be a lot clearer with it. I just don't okay. I wouldn't want to pull it out and not let her know anything about what it is. For, yeah. yeah. No, I get it. Yeah. Okay. So let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Awesome. Welcome yeah. to the team. Cool. Cut. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't think there's many more objections to overcome. There's time. Mm -hmm. There's the yeah. Let's do the let's do time. People say they don't have enough time because this is a really easy one for me to overcome. So <laughs> and I think there'll be another one more after this. Like okay, so let's do time real quick. Yeah. All right, Ben. Well, um, obviously, just got done showing you everything, the dream trips, the whole app, everything like that. Um, did I give you enough information to make a four hundred forty-four dollar decision? Uh, yeah, yeah, your information was good, presentation was awesome, really cool stuff. Uh, I just don't really know if, if, if it's something that would fit me right now, just with my schedule, I got so much stuff going on, I don't really okay. know if I'd have enough time to, you know, go out there and share it, kind of like you're doing right now. Okay. You know? um, uh, yeah. Well, uh, I can totally understand what you're saying, you know, I actually felt the same exact way when I saw this. Yeah. When I saw this five and a half years ago, I was working literally 90 hours a week. So oh, wow. do you, I don't know if you currently work that much or not. <laughs> not, not quite. Not, not quite. quite. No. So um, I, I say that to say this, if I could do it, you could definitely do it. And a couple things to, to keep in mind. Number one, it probably only took me, what, 30 to 60 seconds to send you that text with the card picture. Yeah. And then maybe another two or three minutes to set up this meeting. Mm -hmm. And then we've been here at this meeting for like 35, 40 minutes. Yeah. So all in all, like if you got started right now, it would also take an additional five minutes to sign you up. So let's just call it 50 minutes to an hour. Okay. 50 minutes to an hour from start to finish, everything all in, you're signed up, you know what to do, everything. So I'm assuming even as busy as you are, you get a lunch break every day, right? Yeah, yeah. So imagine, like, this is what I'm doing. That's why I'm giving you this example because when I first got started, all I did was every single day on my lunch break, I shared this information with another person and another person and another person. Okay. So if all you did was share this with somebody on your lunch break, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. um, every day, Yeah. and 
if over the next 10 months you could develop an extra two to three thousand dollars um you know yeah just a from, month just from doing that yeah because that's what happened from for me uh-huh. hmm. i don't know what this notification popping up is here <laughs> <laughs> but anyways so um i'm just gonna leave that there because yeah. it is what it is yeah. don't know what to do so but anyways so i mean so time's not really the issue you know what i mean and then if, if yeah. anything let me ask you this do you like having so little time uh no sometimes it really sucks Right. So that's the same thing I was thinking is sometimes that really stinks. Yeah. Right? So why don't you lock arms with us and I'll help you buy some of that time back. Okay. I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess there's no... I, I, I promise I'm going to help you. You know, I'm going to lock arms with you and help you personally. Fair okay. enough? Fair enough. Yeah. All right, bro. Let's do, let's do the thing. Awesome. All right. Cut. All right. We're going to do one last one here. This may be a big one, although I'll be honest with you. I don't really get this objection very often, and if you're getting this objection, I think that it's probably because you're doing the first parts of the step incorrectly. Um, and this objection is the pyramid scheme objection. You know, of course, obviously, um, pyramid schemes are illegal. We're a legitimate network marketing company that did just under a billion dollars last year, so these are really irrelevant. But here's what it is: people, when people say pyramid scheme, they don't really mean pyramid scheme. They mean network marketing uh, that their friend did that they didn't have success at and that they said was really bad. So the only example, the only, you know, most people don't have a real life example of a good network marketing experience because all of their friends are either as broke or more broke than them that tried to do one of these things. So I would just say this, if you're following our simple system for success, I don't think you're ever going to run into this one, but in case you do, let's go. Let's 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 play it out. All right, dude. Well, um, showed you the deal, showed you the dream trips, everything like that, right? So yeah. the question is, did I give you enough information to make a five hundred nineteen dollar decision? Uh, it's it's pretty cool. Um, I've kind of I've I've seen stuff that's not exactly like this, but similar. Uh, to be honest, man, it it, it kind of reminds me. The whole business model kind of reminds me of. Uh, like a like a pyramid thing, like a pyramid scheme. I mean, I don't know if I want to call it a scheme, but like I've seen stuff that's similar, like with right. uh, Advocare. Okay. Um, I think Herbalife is another one. Right. Like Mary Kay, and I've seen some of my friends. Like a lot of my friends actually were in Advocare for a while, and they showed it to me. And I just never really was interested. Okay. Uh, and they they've they've dropped out from that since. So. Um, for the right type of person like yourself, I'm sure you have a lot of success with this. I just don't really know if I would want to, you know, if, if it would be for me, you know, and I'm just not really all that familiar or comfortable with the business model. So Okay. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Number one, um, I, wanna, I want you to rest assured, you know, it's not a pyramid. Okay. We are, we're what's called a network marketing company. Okay. And, you know, we're a legitimate company. Obviously, we did almost a billion dollars in sales last year. We're partnered with every major hotel, every major cruise line, every major whole, you know, um, airline, mm-hmm. cruise line. I think I said that already. But anyways, yeah. we're partnered with a lot of people in the in the uh, uh, travel industry. Okay, yeah. and I would say that any one of those companies, any one of those billion dollar companies, probably wouldn't have partnered with us, let alone all of them, if we were in a legal pyramid scheme, right? right? Right. And I know you said you didn't want to call it a scheme, but you're just more of like a pyramid. But it's called network marketing. So okay. you actually do it every day anyways. So the only difference is you just get paid for doing it here. So I see that you have an iPhone. Mm-hmm. Have you ever gotten to a dispute with someone who has a Samsung product about why your iPhone's better? I mean, just funny stuff like, oh, my, my iPhone's better. Like, right. Like just, but yeah. but why you genuinely think it's better, right, for some reason? Yeah, because everything else I use is Apple, so yeah, right. Just more. So you're better. you're a, you're an unpaid salesperson for yeah. Apple. You're talking about how good their products is, and you're trying to get people convinced to buy Apple products. Oh, and you don't yeah, ever even get insane. paid for it, right? Right, right? And think about the last good movie you saw. What was the last good movie you saw? Uh, it was that uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So think about that. When you saw that movie, oh, by the way, that was hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> Chris Pratt, man. He's yes. Awesome, yeah. So when you saw that, though, did you tell any of your friends how hilarious it was? Did you tell any of your friends how good it was? Yeah, I was like, I, I couldn't believe that they did a better one than the first one. but yeah. Right. Yeah, and so, you know, and that's the thing, though, right? So 
you told all of your friends how good it was. Mm -hmm. And some, do you think that any of them that you told how good it was maybe went to see it after that? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, one of my buddies texted me and told me they just saw it. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So, but here's the thing. The movie theater never sent you a paycheck. No. But that's still called network marketing. It's word of mouth advertising that people get other people to do for them. But <laughs> yeah. typically, you're doing it for free. Okay. Yeah. Same thing as network marketing. You're just not getting paid. See, with us... We have the best travel club in the world. We guarantee the best price on, on vacations or you go for free. You All of the stuff you're doing on an everyday basis, you earn money to spend within our ecosystem. Yeah. We're almost a billion dollar company. Mm -hmm. We're the 677th fastest growing company in America last year, right? Yeah. We've won 21 awards in travel. Yeah. And we haven't even launched our app or our card yet. Yeah. And if we did a billion dollars without those two things, imagine what we're going to do with those two things. A lot more. A lot more. So just take friends out to eat, tell them about how like great it is, and watch them let me earn points. And just... Right. Like, what if we partner with some movie theaters? Yeah. And so now when you tell your friends, dude, you got to go see Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. But before you do, download this app and make sure you go to this movie theater right here. They're going to have movie theaters on here? They're going to have movie theaters on here. Matter of fact, there's already a couple movies, not right in this area, but there's already movie theaters on board with this. Dang. So imagine okay. if you could get paid when your friend went to see Guardians of the Galaxy. Dude, I talk about movies all the time. And, that, and then remember what you said? You know, you talk about food ever? Yeah. Go have yeah, a good yeah, meal. Yeah. You tell your yeah. buddies about it, Like, yeah. dude, you got to try this steak from XYZ. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. So imagine if you said, you got to try this steak from XYZ. But first, before you go, download this app so that when you go, you earn free points to use in this ecosystem and you can use them on travel because even someone who downloads the app for free in the future will be able to use those points in our ecosystem as well. Okay. But they're only going to earn half as many points as you would as a member. Uh, See, so the incentive isn't even for you. You're not telling your friend to download the app so you can make money. You're telling them to download the app so that they can earn points. Yeah. So they get a benefit and you get a benefit. It's kind of the whole you scratch my back, I scratch your back thing. Do, right? they, do they still get to use their points for buying stuff? Yes. Cool. Even if they're not a member, now they'll they're only going to be able to use let they'll be able to use less of the points than you are. Yeah, and they're only going to earn half as many as you are, which is going to incentivize them to become a member or incentivize yeah. them to buy the fly card. Yeah, but the app also will incentivize them to go to the DTL places more often as well. They'd probably like this a lot better than the other stuff they've done if they were to take a look at this. Yeah, and so here's yeah. the thing: a lot of your friends, since you said pyramid, mm -hmm. I bet a lot of your friends would also say the same thing. Probably. But here's what it comes down to. Now that you understand it better, mm. and I kind of explained it like that, mm. you see how that just makes more sense? Yeah. So I think they'll probably, have, well, just this business is all about educating people enough so that they can make a $444 or $519 decision. Yeah. Because it's not that you don't have the money, it's not that you don't think it's cool. It's just that you're wondering, like, is this legit? Can I do it? But if you know that you have someone like myself locking arms with you to do this with you, then there'd be no reason for you to say no. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So does that make you feel more comfortable about doing this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, welcome to the team. Awesome. Awesome. One more thing. Uh, I think for a lot of us, like whenever I said I just got a couple more questions, uh, that would be the cue for a lot of us to say, hang on a second and give Jesse a call. Obviously, Jesse's the one that's presenting, so he wouldn't need to call anyone. He is his own upline. But that would be a good point for you know, one of us to say, well, hang on just a second, call Jesse and then, you know, connect him on the call, edify him right there in front of the person and then put him on the yeah. call with that person. Let's walk through one of those examples. So let's say none of these scenarios ended in a high five and the person joining, let's say they, any one of these ended in a, you know what, man, I still need to think about it. You know, just give me a few days. Let, Ben's going to start from that segment and I'm going to trigger the upline call and I'll show you how to transfer from Meeting with your friend to the upline call. So, all right, bro. Well, I, you know, we answered all that. Like I said, you know, now that I've explained it to you, like, is that enough now? Like, do you feel more comfortable about coming on board? Well, it's really, really cool. Um, like on a scale of one to 10, I'm like a, like a seven. Okay. Um, just, just, I need to think about it a little bit. Okay. Uh, so even, even of, still. Yeah. Okay. Soak it all in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, hey, hold on one second for me. Okay. Okay. Hold on one sec. All right. Hold on. Ring, ring. Yeah, hey. Yeah, hey, Brad. Hey, Brad. Yeah, hey, I'm actually sitting here with my friend Ben, and uh, I just showed him the information, and uh, super, super excited about what we're doing. He says like a 7 out of 10. 
he still wants to think about it a little bit. And um, I, I've, I think I've answered a lot of his questions. Maybe he has a few yeah. more. But I just really wanted him to hear your story since, you know, I'm kind of, I'm Ben's good friend. You know, of course, he, you know, he knows me and I know him. But I wanted to hear him to hear from someone else outside of my profession, just kind of outside of, you know, our friendship and relationship. So, um, but this has been, um, Ben, this is, I've got my buddy Brad on the phone. He actually used yeah. to be the sports medicine doctor for the Dallas Mavericks. Whoa. I mean, big dude, you know, really, yeah. he's like one of my mentors. Okay. okay. And, um, I just wanted you to kind of hear his story real quick. I'm not trying to like, you know, push you or anything, but yeah. I think it's always good to hear from someone else. And then Brad, this has been, we've been friends for several years now. Total stud. He's just a, he's a great personal, you know, speaker, public speaker, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, here, just share your story with him real quick, okay? Hey, Brad. That would. So at that point, Brad or your upline or whoever it is is going to share their story with them and maybe try to even maybe try to see if it was just hearing another story that pushed them over the edge. Brad or myself or Ben or whoever your upline is would ask them that closing question one more time. Hey. So, you know, what do you think? Are you ready to come on board with us yet? Or do you still need more time to think about it? And if they said, no, I still need more time to think about it, this would then be an opportunity for you to invite that person out to the next meeting. Yep. Maybe we're doing a webinar or maybe you're doing a presentation locally or you're doing a corporate sponsorship or the headquarters or any of those things, whatever's local to you, that would be the, the time. Don't ever let somebody leave a meeting, especially if they're a six, seven, eight, nine out of 10 without getting them to the next event, okay? We always book an event from an event, yep. okay? Always. And then, but the phone would be handed to me, I'd say bye to Brad, and then we'd be on our way, and it'd be on to the next one. So anyways, guys, um, you have anything else to say, Ben? No, no. So, so, so guys, I hope this is helpful. You know, we've spent a lot of time developing the website, the content, these training videos over the last couple of days to help you guys win at the highest level possible. So if you guys have any ideas for more training videos that you'd like for us to record, um, go on Kingdom Builders Facebook page and let me know what you would like for us to record. And when I can fit these into my calendar, I'm going to start recording a lot of content to help people run through this system, okay? So hope you guys have a blessed night. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Peace.